uh, Charaka and Susruta Samhita are the earlier works. Probably there were smaller works much earlier that we haven't got to have any trace. But Charaka Samhita is considered to be the older of the oldest. And as a Samhita, it is a collection of different practices that were current probably in different areas then. And when in Indian history, um, the small cities or towns and urban areas were coming up, people were converging in these areas and uh, patronage from kings were possible, or local rajas. And it's in this kind of context that these compendiums were collected. They're collections of different ideas. Sometimes there are even contradictions within them. Now, I'll just talk about Charaka, which is the oldest. The word Charaka would mean somebody who is walking around. So it would be a Vaidya, a physician who goes around from town to town. And already that means that there was a lot of movement and people were collecting information. So Charaka Samhita is a work basically on general medicine, um, explaining the principles in quite um, a, a lot of part, different parts of the text. And then it gives a lot of formulas. It's in verse and in prose. And it resembles somewhat the Mahabharata in some way, the language, and has uh, been redacted and redone different periods in history. So it's not one person. In the text themselves, there is Agnivesha, Vridabhala, there are different redactors. They say that. And it's around the third, at the turn of the uh, common era, that is the first century BC or first century AD, that we can place it in terms of time. But it was the variance of the text, because once it traveled, Maybe some parts didn't get across or people added little. This was how, because there was no copyrights and no definitive edition. But the way that we have it today uh, is almost around the 4th century AD. Sushruta Samhita is supposed to have been written by the physician of the Kashi Raja. Kashi is Varan, uh, Banaras. And as a text belonging to a royal tradition where war was an important aspect, the speciality was surgery because wounds during wars were very important uh, part of the treatment that a Vaidya should know. So it had that specific interest as its main difference compared to Charaka. Charaka is general medicine. It has all the eight Angas, the Ashta Angas, uh, which are, um, there's pediatry, there's general medicine, there is um, um, psychiatry, but psychiatry meant in those days possessions by uh, invisible forces. There was um, uh, surgery, there was uh, treatment for the upper part of the body like ear, nose and throat and eyes. Uh, then there was um, um, therapy for poisoning against snake bites or even other kinds of poisons and uh, the last two are connected with uh, rejuvenation and increasing the virility uh, these are the last two so those are more to do with geriatry and uh, um, the um, reproductive functions so you have these eight but Charaka covers all of them almost equally. Uh, Shushruta focuses on uh, a lot on surgery, but it has other parts as well. And it belongs to about the same period. We can say about the 4th century AD, it had been Shushruta had been definitely um, uh, constructed. Ashtanga Hridayam is a special case in all this. It was written by one person, his name is Vakhvata. He, was, he says that he was born in Sindhu Desha, that is in the Indus region. There is a town that is supposed to have been his birthplace, but he moved probably towards the region where this middle Desha, Madhya Desha, that is Allahabad, Banaras, uh, uh, Ujjain region, where 
Ayurveda had developed from the two uh, Samhitas and he brought together the knowledge of both these traditions and coherently organized it so that everything is well uh, structured. So we can consider that as the final uh, work of Ayurveda of the three and it kind of sums up in a very coherent manner the tradition. So after that all that was developed were more like footnotes or little new therapies which were coming in from different parts of India or even outside were incorporated. And coming back to just to say that the Vagbata's book, the Ashtanga Hridayam, came to Kerala and became the Bible.